this is uh, phase two of my plasma reactor. I've got some uh, spectrum tubes up in there with a certain type of crystal. And I have my new spark gap here. Wait for the voltage to get up to where it needs to go. Lights. They're halfway between here and Centerview. Cool. On a back road. I'm recording. Sorry. <laughs> this is my uh, lab assistant Larry in the background there. We were working through. on hydrogen blowing stuff up. Can we shut this light off? Yeah, that'd be cool. You can see it better. That way you can't see me. <laughs> So the uh, three spectrum tubes are functioning properly. Now all I've got to do is get the uh, plasma reactor itself charged. My spark gap's working fine. Needs a little bit of tune, but uh, she's a pulsing real good. Let me uh, test the field over here. Turn another light off for a second. Alrighty. Boy, that puppy's warm. Yee haw! How far is that field reaching over on that side? How about there? It's about uh, three feet. I need three feet. About a foot, foot and a half. Foot and a half, two feet? Yeah. You know it goes out. You can't see behind there. Yeah, she needs to be adjusted some more. Yeah. Fine tuning. Yep, fine tuning. That's the that's the dangerous part there. Huh. Yeah, that's when you gotta touch it. I shocked the crap out of myself. How many times there were? Uh at least three, maybe four. A couple times through the finger now. Alright, she's building up power because she's starting to mess with the camera. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah. Occasionally the camera goes wheeling. Uh, well, when I get that spark gap uh, adjusted right, I should be able to smooth some of that out. I wonder if your spark gap would work better if you were using <coughs> something other than steel. You had like brass bolts running through there. Well, possibly. Um, but for the time being, that one's working out all right. <coughs> I still need to get the argon gas inside of here. And that's when it's going to get good there. You got to have it by Tuesday. Yeah. Well, anybody, everybody stay tuned. So what do you think of this thing so far, Larry? What, your uh, plasma generator? Yeah. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. It's pretty neat. Uh, the amount of power that it throws off up to uh, about a foot and a half away from it. That uh, bulbs will light up and... Yeah, a lot of the problems yeah. uh, so far has got to do with this spark gap, and and it's given it's going to be a <laughs> it's given uh, the lighting up the hydrogen and bulbs that are over a foot and a half away it's from it. It's going to be a chore getting that thing adjusted. Or not the hydrogen, but the uh, argon. Argon, sorry. Ah. There we go. Can you hear that? Oh yeah. She's, she's kicking now.
it'll smooth out a lot more once the argon's in the actual chamber itself. My bulbs don't light up. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Light bulbs light up. Yep. Now that's only about a foot and a half, two feet. It's getting it it seems like it's getting a little bit wider. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit over here. It'll be much better once it gets the doggone argon in the uh, in the plasma reactor. Still picking up right here. <clears throat> still getting a little bit of a pulse. <clears throat> so once we uh, get the extra gauge over on the opposite side over there, I'm going to turn some lights back on. So up here be just fine, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Got a pressure gauge on this side. We got to get the gauge on that side. Hook the argon gas up there. Pressurize it, and if nothing leaks, should work like a charm. So we'll essentially be uh, sending the uh, gas through the tubes, up through the vacuum, and back down and through there, and amplifying it. You already seen what it can do so far. Oh, <laughs> That's yeah. uh, Pretty doggone cool, man. Once that thing's completely full of argon, it ought to throw quite the charge. Oh yeah. It'll light that bull up, that bulb up fully. Don't you think? Yep. We uh, we drained this battery down pretty doggone good when we was messing with the uh, hydrogen cell. Yeah, I bet. So I let that battery charge up overnight and uh, start off fresh and see how strong it is then. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try and get another hydrogen generator going together. I'm just going to build a new lid, I think. Anyway, uh, that's another sneak preview there of the uh, plasma reactor uh, right. phase two. I'm getting close to phase three where I actually uh, put the argon gas inside the chamber and fire up and see where we go from there. Peace and love, everybody.